Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all already know what it is. Another edition of Sour Island Podcast. Y'all know the ritual ready. Get your instrument of choice, your farm to your grabber, your backwood, your Philly, your Duchess, your Bar Marley rolling papers, your grabber, whatever you choose, man. Go up the plane, roll up, sit back and get high, man. We got a good one today. You know what I mean? Today's strand I'm smoking on. Space Cowboy, 23% THC, uh, good effects, keep you mellow, down effects, cotton mouth, so, you know, if y'all indulge in that, Space goes. Lock into that. Well, I appreciate everybody. We got the merch going on. You know what I mean? That's why our merch, this hat, shirt. We got a couple pieces for the females. Got a couple pieces for the females. You know what I mean? Nice old giddy up. You know what I mean? That's the kiss blunt joint. Then we got, you know what I'm saying? Got these joints working, you know what I mean? These is fire. What else we got? Oh what? What else? Oh, this is the this is the just drop. This is a just drop exclusive. This just drop. You know what I mean? Y'all get in tune with that, man. You know what I'm saying? So we, we just working. So only everybody who's been supporting us, you know, we just building. Got a lot of great stuff in the works. Y'all see what's going on. You know what I mean? This one is hard, too. 420 coming up for this entire month. 20% off all merchandise. So we got a lot of dope stuff up there. So when y'all get a chance, you know what I mean? Tap into the site. You know what I mean? 20% off all merchandise. You know what I mean? Um, so y'all know, you know, let's let's go, man. Roll up. You know, give y'all a few minutes. Guests get ready to pull up. We got a good one for y'all. You know what I mean? I'm gonna let him introduce himself. You know, we just be taking the trip over on, on on that side for a minute. You know what I mean? So give me a few seconds. He's get ready to tune in, and we are gonna get right into it. Again, the merch the site for the merch is here. Scrolling along the bottom so y'all can tap in. Get y'all going. Let, let y'all know what kind of. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, hello, hello, brother. So I'm just talking to the people real quick, you know what I mean? Letting them know um, we got a great one coming. I don't know if you got your drink, Turner. I went and picked up mine. That little black teleport. Yeah, that black, that black teleport. I do that. I do that. You, you know, know what I mean? But we got a good one. So, you know what I mean? Without further ado, we got the head honcho himself. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate President, it. General right. that dark side. You know, <laughs> what's good, brother? I appreciate being on the platform, man. Um, you know, I'm just living right now, man. You know, having fun, enjoying, enjoying yes. myself, man. How you, brother? I'm 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 blessed, man. I'm blessed. You know, um, again, I want to thank you. You know, what I mean, for taking the time out of you know what you got going on to come up on the platform. But you know, it's been some time coming. You know, what I mean, uh, we got some things going on. Uh, I tell y'all, people, China's a genuine dude. I reached out to him. He did not hesitate to get back to me. Set everything up. You know what I mean. So here we are here. Let's let's get right into it, brother. I know you ain't with the antics. Let's get right into it. Who, let, let the people know who 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 ain't tuned into the dark side. Yeah, let you know you who you be. If you ain't tuned into the dark side, basically, I'm China Brand. You know what I'm saying? They call me Illuminati China, but um, I came. You know, um, I got big off of YouTube, fucking with Wack One Hundred. You know what I'm saying? Zeke Black. Um couple of this Hassan Campbell you know um and you know everybody was calling it the dirty sector back then you know what I'm saying and yeah, I remember ancient, 
I feel ain't shit dirty about me. And at the time, me and Hassan, we broke apart. We started going at each other. And I started the the dark side, which is one of one of the biggest sides they saying on YouTube right now. We got like over 15 platforms on that side. Yeah. So that the, the situation with with um Hassan Campbell, you know what I mean? I seen that y'all was y'all was fairly close and y'all y'all was building something big, you know what I mean? What, what took place? See, me and Hassan, it just, you know, a lot of things I didn't know about Hassan Campbell as far as, you know, um, see, when I came home from prison, I just jumped straight into social media, you know, at first. I didn't really know a lot. I was big on Instagram. I had probably like a hundred and probably a little over that. I Last time I remember, I had like 180 followers on Instagram. I was viral over there. So, um, once... They snatched my, my page because I didn't know what to do with it. I just finished doing years in prison. So everybody was like, yo, come to um come to YouTube. So Hassan and everybody was like, come to YouTube. My first interview was with uh Zeke Black from the um uh the WAC one hundred paperwork off of Jim Jones. You know, so that's what got me big. Um and that's how they took my page because it was a uh, when I came home, I was with Wack. Wack sent me some paperwork. I posted me not knowing some I fake. Remember, yeah, I some remember some all that controversy first. craziness. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna blame Wack for it. I ain't gonna blame. I should have knew better. But I don't look at paper. I don't give fuck. I never been through. And this paperwork, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm the only nigga in the world who who exposed paperwork and 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 basically who's who got viral and, and and made something better you know what i'm saying and i done helped a lot of people so that one little paperwork it it it, it made miracles you know what i'm saying but um when it comes to the fact that i thought it was actually a a, a real paperwork but i posted on my page they yapped my page so i went to youtube or whatever i saw and everybody was like yo come to youtube and from there, I just kept on going, kept on going. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got a lot of people who who understand me and they understand it was a mistake or whatever. You know, I, I spoke to Jim Jones people and, you know what I'm saying, we clarified it. Now everything is all good. But Hassan, you know, Hassan ho helped me uh, push my platform. And we just fell out. You know, sometimes, you know, Hassan is a person that, he don't want you with no friends. He just wants you to be his friend. And I understand that because he been, you know, fucked in the ass and all that other shit happened with him. And you know what I'm saying? So Hassan act weird sometimes. With all due respect to him, he know how I talk, so he won't take nothing offensively. You know, um, but yeah, we broke apart, you know, and he kept stayed on the dirt, dirty side of YouTube, and I switched it to the dark side. And I just you know, invested more time into building other platforms, new content creators. See, Hassan don't want to build content creators. He just want to be the only one with the light. Now, let's just say if you go hear Hassan for an interview like this, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do it because he don't want to see you prosper. He wants you to watch him, not him watch you, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. So I remember, you know, um, a little while back, tuning into your show, and that's when you had the... Um, the green screen going behind you, all type of different colors and effects, and you was just like, I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't know about none of this shit. And I'm, you know, I'm like, shit. For somebody that don't know, he's catching on fairly quick. And the next year you know. Yeah, the thing was, see, people don't realize, like, some people just jump on YouTube and they don't have, like, a... Uh... Uh, they don't have the machine in the back. Like, I got people who's really behind me, managers, and who really, you know, we really take the steps on. It ain't all about YouTube. It's about just, you know what I'm saying, they put me in places where I can get my name out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I deal with a lot of celebrities from uh, Five Mics, and it's just a lot of people I deal with. You know so what I'm saying? Five so yeah, so they give me advice what to do and what not to do, you know, and, and we all make mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, but just getting over them hurdles, you know, and right now I'm at the stage where, you know, I'm doing good, but I'm not, I'm not nowhere where I want to be or where I think I'm supposed to be, but everybody like, listen, you bigger than what you, you know what I'm saying, your numbers is, you bigger than what you think you are, 
But, you know, you got to stay humble and let God show you the way. That's how I feel right now. And one thing, you know, um, I realized that a lot of people give slack when they see the successful people at the platform that they know from when we was at the bottom. You know what I mean? Kicking, kicking dirt, kicking rocks together. And it's like, you you you, you got to grab onto it. If, if you're not supporting it, you a hater. You know what I mean? How only, time, only time people going to support you, and it's sad to say, is when they see you right next to them doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. You know what I'm saying? It's sad because a lot of, you know, even me, I got people who bigger than me or, you know, that's on the same level I am. And they'll be like, yo, why you go on his interview? Like, you think I got have backlash? Me coming on your podcast? You know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? Like, he, uh -huh. come on. you know what I'm saying? But I do what I feel like doing. But other podcasts, other, other people, they don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they say I'm trying to help you, and it's like, it's like, oh, you getting the light off for us. If you bring him up there, now we got to worry about another nigga who's, 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 you know, is them in our light, which I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 listen, if you meant for greatness, greatness gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not I can't stop that. And and I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you tapped on that because you know the the whole the whole curriculum and, and branded behind this podcast is to get to tap in with some of the people we come across on a day to day basis and get a better intellect and unique understanding of who that person is as an individual. You know what I mean? Like we all in, in a whole got things going on in our personal life. You know what I mean? That make us react differently you know what i mean especially when the cameras come on you know what i mean people don't know that phone call 10 minutes ago i'm ready to hurt something and there's somebody in the comments want to be funny talking some silly shit to try to take it you know it can easily elevate and, and these people don't understand that that you know i always say it costs nothing to show support it costs nothing to show love you spend more money and energy hating that's what that's what and, and 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 it's sad. Like that's how social media is, and 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 I ain't gonna just blame it on that. Sometimes you could bring people up with you, and this happened to me a lot of times. I don't got people to you know, like like let's just say this. I get them the five hundred subscribers. To them, they knew, so they think that's big. Or I get them to I get them monetized a thousand subscribers. They think that that's big, so they. You can't outshine your master. You just can't do that. So, so like when I'm, so like if I'm still trying to educate them, they think they got it. And after a while, people use and abuse you. Like man, fuck that. I'm just gonna do me. I'm not helping nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that make. Hold on. This fucking bird on the roof. Shut up. Making noise. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it made me do. It made me feel that way. Where I was like at a time where, yo, fuck anybody, because anybody that I do try to help, you know what I'm saying? It's either they cross you, not knowing that you ain't you ain't get nowhere. You ain't get nowhere at all. But in their mind, they feel because they got it because they knew at this. You know what I'm saying? They feel they got somewhere, but they really didn't get nowhere. Let me okay. get the damn bird. Okay. Yeah. So, let, 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 let's get right. Let's get right into it, man. The dark side. The dark side. Salute. Up, dark man? side. Everything dark. Gleeko. Everything Gleeko. Everything. You know I mean? The fuck out. What's, what's up? Talk, talk, talk to us about the dark side, man. Tell us what you got going on. It's 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 crazy over there. You know what I mean? Let people yeah, know to be yeah, fair, yeah. warm, entering. Yeah, it's crazy on the dark side, like. We got a lot of platforms, and what we do is, you know, um, we got platform for war. If you want to argue with motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? We got, I got a couple of platforms who would just, me, I'm basically quiet. I like, I, I come at the big dogs, you know what I'm saying? But you got a bunch of small platforms who want to argue, who just argue. So, you know what I'm saying? If y'all want to be on YouTube and say how many guns you got and go on live and, 
and go crazy, I got the platforms for that. Where dudes don't give a fuck about the money part of YouTube. They just want to come up here and just pop shit. You know what I'm saying? So we got that. And we also got, you know, I got platforms where it's educational use. You know what I'm saying? Women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uplift men. You know what I'm saying? Who talk about real life situation. But me, as far as 050 the movement, like we are really, we the foundation. They call 050 the foundation. You know what I'm saying? So we really on that time, which I'm really on that time. Like if you's a big dog and you ain't trying to open the doors for the people, I'm coming. That's just the way I am. I came at no jumper. I come at all the West Coast platforms because they ain't trying to let us in the door. We have to kick it. Came at Hassan Campbell. And the list keep on going on. Yeah. Matt Hoffa, as you know, right now, me and Matt Hoffa going through it. You know what I'm saying? Salute the champ. You know, it just, it just mad shit that I'm just ain't going to tolerate. So you know I, 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 want, I want to ask you, I want to ask you a little bit about that, that situation. Not uh, necessarily the whole, Go ahead. Speak your mind. the whole champ and Matt Hoffa situation, but you and your situation with Matt Hoffa, what, What's that about? Where's the steam from? I understand y'all grew up together or yeah, from the no, same we neighborhood? Didn't, we didn't grew up together. Like I, I like we walked the streets. We from the same hood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, did I hear about him? Yeah, I hear about him. Like same way he heard about me. Like he like two blocks, three blocks up the block from me. But my thing was that you know, don't try to act like you don't know who I am. When I when I wasn't shit, when I had a thousand subscribers and I was trying to ask you to bring me up, you know what I'm saying? You ignored me. You know what I'm saying? You it's like I didn't exist. Now, now you see that, oh, this nigga, this nigga got traction now. He done came up. Two years from now, this nigga's up. Now, now I could kick the fucking door down and hurt your whole channel. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got a voice now. Before, when I was like an intercom, you didn't pay me no mind. But now I got a voice. Oh, you wanna oh you wanna pull up on a platform and then chats and all that? No, you still a bitch. I'm gonna treat you like a bitch. I'm not gonna be one of them niggas who gonna who who, who gonna, you know what I'm saying, bow down now. Oh yeah, man, I'm in the chat and all that. And then and no, nigga, I'm gonna give you that energy. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I'm saying? You treat me like shit at the beginning, don't try to be my friend at the top, nigga. It's just what it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on having this energy. So it's and more of like a, a disrespect thing towards him. Like he don't, you feel he don't got no respect for you. No, it ain't the point. He don't got no respect for me. He don't got the respect for the peoples as a whole. If a nigga, if, 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 if I know you as being from my neighborhood, first of all, I'm bringing you up with me. I Even if I like you or don't like you, I'm going to help you out in Let's some way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put you on. When I first came in, I never said nothing wrong about Matt Hoffa. I just watched his move. I used to like his platform. I still like some of the shows, but it just turned garbage. And the real niggas who, who was on his show, they realized, yo, we up here with this fucking buster. Because look at his history. On that show, is mad buster shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who's on there leave. So that to show you what type of person he is. And then you don't, then all that time, you didn't want to help nobody. <coughs> He didn't want to help nobody, but now, since his numbers went down, he on all small platforms because the thing is that people don't realize the small platforms is the one who keep the big platforms in the algorithm. Because right, they the ones who you something right quick. About it. Not to cut you off, let me ask you something. Do you think it's, it's, it's trust issues from paranoia of success from, from him? Yeah. yeah, like every first little of all, thing. He announced this. First of all, he announced this. Second of all, when you gain and 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 this go for a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like when you when even leadership, being a, a a member like me, uh, a blood, like having leadership, and that shit, you know what I'm saying? Once you can't control something, you start getting big headed, and if you don't know how to control yourself. It could be detrimental. You know what I'm saying? And that's what goes on with him. Once, If you never had power in your life, and then you just get power, it becomes, yeah, it starts fucking, yeah, it starts fucking with you. Now you don't know how to deal with people rational. That's what's going on with Matt Hoffa. Okay. Money, money and power is crazy. 
that means you know little what I'm you think he's being slighted or somebody trying to attack him. Basically, so you 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 push people that don't want to fuck with you, and then you think that everybody needs you. Everybody don't need you. Nobody need Mad Hoffa. Only thing we need is God. If God feel to put you to remove your ass and put somebody else there, that's what's gonna happen. Like what's going on now. You know okay. what I'm saying? Everybody get a chance. Everybody. Shit just don't happen overnight. Mad Hoffa was going through shit for years before he got in his position. Now, to keep your position, you got to stay humble. Stay humble. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes. And that's what fuck niggas up. Niggas get their position and they become way somebody else. They don't want to help people to get there. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Jay-Z didn't make Rockefeller or Rock Nation by himself. He just a name for it. Yeah. It's a, a fucking team, empire. Brother. You got a team. These dudes don't think like that. They just think it's me, 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 me. No, it ain't you. 05 vote just ain't China Brim. Yeah, it's, it's, every day you say it is 100%. 05 vote is my chat. It's the people in the back, my mods, people who watch the shows at home. I got old people, young people, mothers, daughters who hit me up and they love my shows. When I don't go on, they be mad as hell. Yeah, yeah. You, know you, you, you got the net right now. Dark side got the net right now. Anybody right. say different, they lie. You know what I mean? Shout out to the the, the other yeah. platforms that's doing their thing. You know what I mean? Cam and 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 and, and Mace, they they in the sports era. You know what I mean? They they doing with sports, but as far as the, the overall entertainment and real entertainment, you know what I mean? Like this yeah, ain't no Dark love of hip hop or. Pre-scripted shit, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's like, like sometimes, like I, tell, like I tell dudes on the dark side, like, like we didn't, like I didn't create this for us to be out here killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to make a dollar off of that. If you're having a bad day, ain't nothing wrong with pulling up, turn this on, and y'all go crazy, make content and make money. I, I mean, prefer, I prefer you doing that than you choking the shit out your wife. And on the news or something. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least I know you'll wake up tomorrow. You know how many times my wife drive me crazy and I turn on YouTube and I'll be happy afterwards? How much you hook, you hook therapy. You, Basically. People from the hood can relate to all the lives, the content, the message that you give out. You know what I mean? If it's not hitting them at home, it's hitting them next door because somebody next to them is attached to the topics that you be having on hand. I want to ask you a question. How did you and Harlem Legend link up? Chuck, that's crazy. I just was talking to Harlem. He he he's so happy right now. Um, all right. At the beginning of 05 vote, like like the beginning of 05 vote, I didn't really had everything. It wasn't like I was like immature at it. I didn't really know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It just was me getting on here, and I'm like. Damn, I'm getting lit. So I got to make it just more into like, I want my shows to be shows. You know what I'm saying? Now you'll probably see me just get on here and wild out, but I like the drops. If you ever see my shows, I have the music. I got people music playing. Like, I like it like that. So, um. And, and not to cut you off, I, I, I love what you're doing for the people. You're yeah. supporting the people. Um, You got my boy with the mic in the street going off. Right. You got the, the 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 chicks with the the platinum hit dick yeah. dash dick, that's dick, going dick. crazy. You got yeah, uh, salute to them from, like like they from BK. They you know what I mean? You just show love, and, yeah, and, and, and people can't deny that. And that's the thing, people show send me their music. You know what I'm saying? So I I play it. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and I I don't gain a a lot of good relationships with. That's why I say celebrities, people big, and all around the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, um. I wanted to structureize it as far as it's more with family could sit there and we could have dialogue. You know what I'm saying? Instead of me just arguing. I don't want everybody to like China. I want somebody who could go against me and don't feel a way. Who could, we could be, we could have a great debate and, and I pick Harlem and he's good at what he's doing. And you know, and he's, he's big on the battle rap sector. Okay. So if you don't see me, you don't see him on 05 over here. He done created a dark side in battle rap. 
So he's big over there. You know what I'm saying? And he got over here, he still got Harlem Legend TV. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we work together. You know, and it's like this. It's either it's either I'm a blow, and it's either I'm a blow or you gonna blow. That's what we just was talking about before I got on with you. You know, yo, China. Listen, I know them motherfucking them 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 uh them YouTube checks like this. How we talk, real niggas, niggas. I know these YouTube checks looking good. All right, boom, I got you, nigga. Like you helped me build this, so you already know, nigga. I got you. Regardless, if I hit a million, I don't give a fuck what I get. What happens on his YouTube? I'm always gonna look back. Yeah, chemistry together is 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 awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, facts. The, but we had a couple of niggas, Saladin. If you know back, like we got 050 is big. Like we have a lot of people. We got a lot of platforms. A lot of dudes that came from 050. We helped them create their platforms. It's just it's it's big. I haven't seen you do this in, in a little while. When you 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 got like five people up on the on the screen at once, and y'all just going going here. Oh, you talking about those is the clash of the titans? Everybody oh. loved those. Okay, okay. Like, I, I haven't seen that in a while, I created, but I create. Nah, we just did one. I think a couple of weeks ago we did a clash of the titans with disco in them. Yeah, we just did one, a big one, a big clash, like like. At least try, I try to do it every month. A big clash of the Titans where it be other dudes and, you know, a bunch of dudes who going through their problems. They come up on the platform and everybody just let loose and go crazy. But that's what 050 known for. That's what the people like. They love that clash of the Titans. We get our big numbers on there. And that's good. That's 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 a good way to vent. You know what I mean? People could settle their differences. Whether it's the common ground or the indifference, but you know, to get everybody collect, because you know everybody got to stand. Yo, I'm a real nigga. I ain't getting up on no YouTube and I got fucking niggas doing it. Niggas can't. You know what I mean? It's like real. You don't know why niggas say that, and I'm not gonna say they ain't. Stop. They ain't real niggas. YouTube ain't for everybody. That's like saying the Cosby. Anybody could play a part of being in the Cosby. You know what I'm saying? Or being Martin. Like, it ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I can't do what you do. and You can't do what I do. You just got to be, you just got to know your craft. Stop! You just got to know your craft. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I didn't think I was going to be a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't something that I just said, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a YouTuber. Nah. I, I, I watch people. I learned the craft. And I said, damn, I got a big mouth just like these guys. Probably bigger. I probably could, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy too. And you making people, people make millions. You know how many times I quit my job and just did YouTube and lived off of YouTube money? This is, it's, 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 it's like the crack game now. So, um, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a great thing if you, if you put the, you got to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing you got to put the work in and, and know how to connect the dots, like deal with certain dudes and create content. Okay. And don't be scared to come out the box. See, and that's what's wrong with niggas. You can't... Black ignorance pays. And I'm one of them niggas. I'm not going to stand here and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to talk about all the good... I fuck all the good shit because the good shit ain't going to get me no money. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to entertain niggas on the good shit. If I'm gonna be on YouTube, I gotta get paid. So if you want all the all, all, all the ignorant shit, I mix it in with some good shit. Cause I know how to get ignorant. <laughs> you know what I mean? think people are aware of that. You know what I mean? But also, you know, like you said with, with the ignorance, it be it be facts to it. You yeah, know, that's why I said you gotta learn how to incorporate it. A lot of people get out raving crazy and just want to yell and scream to grab the audience. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't hear the conversation with the yelling. But for some reason, the old 5 old message always get across. Because if a nigga don't reply today, I guarantee you before the week is out, somebody has something to say. And that's for somebody of statue that has something to say about it. So it's like... Because what I try to do when I come... 
I'm not I'm not holding no 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 punches. Like when I come shoot at these big platforms, I'm coming. And that's just the way it is. And 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 I go all the way. I'm not gonna play with you because I already know this is a fight to the top. You know what I'm saying? This is this, this is 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 be boxing to the top. It's just like boxing, but we just using our lips. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And when you in that ring, this YouTube ring, niggas will bury you in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta know how to fight through this shit. You know, you gotta know how to stand with the top. Don't think you're gonna you're gonna get a a, a, a half a mil subscribers and Hassan and them niggas gonna let you just get that and you just gonna sit up there and talk about talk positive hell no they're gonna be 10 your ass are up. you applying are you applying some of your up north mentality to this youtube game like that's why they love you, you know, they that's love why. It. okay they that's love why. It. okay they love it they love the, the up north they love the up north talk you know what i'm saying they love the street shit. you know what i'm saying and they love you know they just love everything. I tell you, black ignorant cells. You know what I'm saying? I can stand up here. I got knowledge yourself. You know how many books I read yeah. in that box? I'm the God. You know what I'm saying? I'm Muslim. You know what I'm saying? I could come up here and speak about who's the original man and, and get into all that other shit. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to be. Wanna hear that. Yeah. And if I do that on my, yo, I did that for like two, three months and my numbers went down dramatically. They don't want to hear that. But once I once I jump on there and I say, yo, this nigga SMD and use a bitch and I'm tearing the industry down, violating everybody, your shit climbs. Go all the way up. That's so 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 when people say, Oh, y'all up there disrespecting each other, you up there watching us. It doesn't matter if you like it or dislike it, it's a view. You're right. Right, you know what I'm saying? Matter of opinion, your opinion don't matter. Your click matter, basically. Uh, but something I said or you heard caught your attention to hit that button, basically. You know, so you know it, it, it's crazy out here. I know you know this whole YouTube shit. It's crazy out here. You know, you got people that want to be right next to you just to pull you down. You know, so at yeah, the same, but I do. I don't play niggas close. That's mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like people actually do meet and greets. You know what I'm saying? Um, the the last thing I did was on Labor Day. You know what I'm saying? Oh five oh, we got a big uh, uh, what's that? Uh, like a um, I forgot I forgot what they call it. Like it's like a hotel, but it's like a a BB some shit. Uh, the Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb, and we, you know, we had our 050 shit on, and 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 we went to New York, and you know, we was deep, and you know, we we wrapped our shit out there, and we did good, you know, and we ate good, smoked good, drunk good, you know what I'm saying? We all met, shit like okay. that, you know. We do the whole 050. Yeah, I try to do that, and, and that's with the old, and that's the supporters. I got a chat. I got a chat. My chat got over right now. I think it's like 35,000, 35 people in my chat. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's like a chat, a 050 chat. People showing love, support, you know what I mean? You know, and you got to have that. You got to have, you got to connect with the people. You got to let them and know that, that that's you are you, That's because you kept it authentic from the beginning. You never switched up. Um, what your program was, you kept to it. You know what I mean? You didn't alter anything. And like I said, I remember watching you in the beginning. You oh man, fuck that. I don't give a fuck that two people tune in. You got to be like that. You got to give I'm them your the shit. You know, and I'm like, yo. And now, be looking, the, the, the numbers, triple digits on the lives. And then when you look at the replays, two, three days later, 40? Whoa. You got it. You got it. You got to got to got to put that work in. You got to believe in yourself. A lot of niggas don't believe in themselves. Moderators, get rid of it. Get rid of it. You want to talk shit? I'm going to fuck. I said, yo, this. And that's China. another thing. That's another thing. You got to make sure. See, trolls fuck channels up. Mm. 
You got to know how to control your trolls. You got to know how to control your moderators. You know what I'm saying? You got to know it's your platform. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to control that. If you don't know how to control your platform, best believe your shit going to just go everywhere. I see the point where people ask you, yo, Chang, you want me to get him out? Nah, leave him alone. He can stay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's you just gotta, how you, you gotta do it. be like that, man. The people who's locked in and they indulge with you and they fuck with you genuinely, you know what I mean? And, you know, you might not even met this person in, per in, in person, you know what I mean? But just because your authenticity won this person up, yo, for who he is, I, got, I gotta fuck with him. Yeah. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some content now. I don't know <clears> about <throat> Star Brim. Like that's another big issue. Her Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? We going through shit right now with them. As far as you know, she's a rat. I don't know if you into you look. You um, I, I used I used to see her periodically out in my hood in Staten Island. You know what I mean? I, yeah, you from Staten Island? I used to be in Staten Island, West Brighton, and yeah, I'm from New Brighton. Yeah, West Brighton, and what's that? Um, the harbor and all that. I used to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Staten Island, man. The harbor, the Park Hill, man. South Beach, man. Everybody out there. And I'm good. You still see me? Yeah, you good now. You good. You went out. And I'm good. Second. Yeah, you good. Wait, hold on. I can't hear you. Okay. Cause somebody try to call me. I hate when they call me. Give me. I got to come out and come back in. All right. All right. Yeah. Do your thing. They yeah, already know people. Never dish us out. Podcast, man. Got. Big Brooklyn, Crown Heights, 050, the dark side on the platform, you know what I mean? So we just building, having a great conversation, you know what I mean? Catching up on things. Don't forget, see that merch down in the pens, how I will merch, you know what I mean? Take a look at it. Let me bring them back in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh. Up. Up when they when they call, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm 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 semi familiar with her, you know what I mean. Um, I don't know her, but I seen her a couple of times. See, and that's the thing. Like I tell podcasts, like different um content creators. One thing you gotta know what's going on in the social media. A lot of us get stuck on what we just want to know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta you gotta know what's going on on social media. Like what's popping right now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way how you. Could get yourself in the algorithm and get the flowing. There's a lot of shit that I don't really give a fuck, but I gotta listen to. I don't. I hate no jumping the motherfuckers and academic. Fuck all them niggas. I don't like them niggas. I don't care about them, but I do listen to their content. So if I feel if something is viral, I could if I want I can make content on it. So you have to. You offer you you offer to to fight academics, right? I fight anybody. Them niggas don't want to fight. I beat fire out them niggas. I, it was a, I know something happened. Well, like, I like, it. If you was like, your fat motherfucking ass, I, I knocked you out some shit. You yeah. was mad he was trying to stir up something. Yeah, and academics is a fucking... He's like... That nigga ain't trying to help nothing. The only thing he do is stir up beef anyway. And and, and he, he's a... See, like I tell you, it's gatekeeper. He's a gatekeeper. A lot of big platforms is gatekeepers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't trying to let y'all niggas up in there. So what I do is I violate. Like, I violate them. The little voice that I do have, they hear it. Yeah, you can't ignore it. Yeah, I got you. So, so and they scared. They peeking through the door, and I'm trying, I'm just kicking, knocking that shit down. You know what I'm saying? So any chance I get, they I violate their ass. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want no problems. Academic, he don't want no problems. He know I don't like him. I don't give a fuck. And it's whatever. Um so we was we was touching on the um you mentioned something about the Star Brim situation. Nah, Star Brim was going nah, on. She just, you know, we you know, I exposed the bitch as a rat. She a rat, you know what I'm saying? She's the only one on her case who, who basically really didn't get time. She got one year on a federal and a uh, Rico indictment, and this her second felony, and then she got like 13 sealed documents. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I exposed that. I was one of the the only platform who recently exposed that. You know, and Cardi B, she did some foul shit, which, you know, I used to like Cardi B, like, cool. But Cardi B, you knew this bitch was a rat all this time, and you invested 350K 
in that bitch case. Like, who do that? Now, this shit is all over the net right now. That's why I tell you, some things you have to know and have to do content in. That's what gets your platform and the algorithm. Because if you don't know shit like this and you talk to niggas like Hassan and Bigger Platt, they ain't going to want to fuck you because they know you ain't really internet savvy. I got you. I got you. Yes, sir. You know, like, my wife, she be like, why you on the internet? No, because this is how I know certain shit that goes on. So if you ask me something about like DJ Academic or another platform, hold on. If you ask me something about a platform or something, and I am on YouTube, I am a content creator, I'm supposed to know about content. Off top, okay. And a lot of dudes, if they feel like you don't know about, it's like basketball. Or football, and 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 you at and and you at a game or something, and you talking with a bunch of dudes who who into football. If you don't know what's going on, they are gonna look at you weird. Like what the yeah. fuck are you here for? Try to get beat the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but YouTube is is the same way. It's like if you don't know about certain certain things that are going on YouTube. People ain't gonna believe that you take this shit serious because there's guys in this YouTube shit who take this shit as a business, and there's other guys who just jump on here and just try to make a dollar and trying to get lit, mm. but they don't really know shit about content. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay on content if you're a content creator. Okay, okay. I got that. So um How was it growing up in Crown Heights? I'm going to keep it real. Like, I grew up in jail. Mm. Like, I didn't really grow up. Like, my family from Guyana. Okay. I grew up, like, I was born here. But I was more, I got, you know, I got locked up when I was 13. You know, from 13 and up, since I was, like, 39 is nothing but prison going back and forth okay mm-hmm. and i've never been home for less than a, what a year so 13 that was like dfy days yeah i was in dfy brookwood mccormick goshen shit like that well oh well, it's crossroads now but yeah okay. i've been i've been places like that Sparfit. 13 Sparfit, like yeah from 13 to like 15 i was just was in and out of Sparfit. Going to beach house, which was you know little boys, little fucking boys, uh, homes and all that shit. And then once I hit fifteen, that's when they holded me until I caught until they boost my charge, and I went upstate. Do you remember your first crime? Yeah, my first crime. I had mad robberies. Like I used to just, we used to, me and my niggas used to, we used to do dumb shit. We used to rob niggas for the, we used to go to white people neighborhood. I, if you know about the bikes, like, um, Dino, Rhino, GT, uh, GTs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to back white dudes with knives and take their bikes and take whatever they got in their pocket. Or, you know, dumb little kid shit. Then it went higher. Once I got older, I next thing you know, I'm robbing, next thing you know, I'm robbing corner stores. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's, you know, I used to, my favorite, I used to wait for people to come out the bank, come out the bank or check cash in place. I'd be across the street, me and the homie. See you come out the check cash in place, we just line your ass up right there. As soon as you come out, follow you for a little bit. Shit like that. Um, This just came, this just came off, off top. If there was somebody, right? But then, but then, I guess I'll say the dark side that you have issues with. Who would you be willing to sit down with and, and smooth things over? From the dark side? Yeah. Because I, I see one thing when I'm you a, just a, you was on a rent. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be like, there's nobody who, who, who. I'm really upset with or anything. Even okay, okay, okay. okay. Nobody, yo, know, nobody really affect my life because nobody never did nothing to my wife, 
my kids. Okay, I got or you. never touch me physically. When I turn this off, that part is over. You know, this part of that that life is is gone. Okay, for that moment until I turn it back on. Like I really don't. I, I, really, I really made it to the point where I don't take YouTube serious. I only take it serious when I'm on YouTube. So the guys, guys who's on YouTube, to me, y'all just content. Content. That's it. Nothing else. Like, so. um, it's a job. So I really don't. I got you. You know, like you didn't like. No, I never seen the no YouTube nigga spin a block on another YouTube nigga. Like, like, right. nigga said, like when I first when I first started, oh, China Brim won't never. Why you come to the hood? Well, hold on. It, it was it was a situation, right? Yeah. Right. When um, the dude what ten toes down? He caught somebody up in the store in the Bronx or something. Yeah, ten toes down caught a nigga in the Bronx. And, and and damn they're about to kill him you know but that's is what it is that guy he needed it and i ain't gonna I'm, see some dudes you don't give you don't say their names you okay. know what i'm saying because well you can but i'm the type i've been in youtube so so long that i don't give people recognition who don't need recognition gotcha gotcha you know what gotcha. i'm saying like i don't get on people platforms who i feel if Deep down, if I feel he ain't worthy, I'm not getting on your platform. Like it got to be some type of energy there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he ran across some and shit happened, and 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 you know it is what it is. Not saying that nothing can happen. Like nobody can't spin a block or I can't see niggas or whatever. But I know the type of nigga I am, and I, I'm I know the YouTube world know China Brem. You know what I'm saying? I did damn near over 20 years in prison. You don't so, see, I look, I look regular, and I, and I was basically one of the head of the Bloods as well. So at the end of the day, niggas know not to play with me. I don't got time. I'm out here doing good. Let me just stay on YouTube and pop shit, cause I ain't trying to go back to prison. Yeah, yeah I, I picked that. I picked that up. There's a, there's a lot of haters, but it's a a uh, so significant amount of people, a lot of people that fuck with you and respect you 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I see that clear as day. You can outweigh the two. You know what I mean? You got but more you support gotta realize, than You got to realize, if you don't have haters, something is wrong. you supposed to have haters. You can't have anybody loving you. You know, it's, the world just don't go like that. I want, you know? I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Was that did y'all set homeboy up? Y'all y'all call him the newcomer. That who who that? Where, um, let me get it right. He he um he got he posted that guy on the phone with somebody, and thought it was uh, I believe it was ten toes, and told him to do the content or whatever the case may be. I'm trying to remember. We he's from I, Long Island. He Manny. Or what they call him Manny? Who Manny Brim? Yeah. What? Hell no, I didn't call. It. Well, I look like calling him now. If I did, I'd have said, "Listen, sometimes people say shit and and salute the Manny, but I don't fuck with. I, we, we don't have that relationship. I don't. I stopped talking to him. Like no, it was a situation where no, he he came he came up here trying to make it seem like I try to help you out. Okay, okay, get you lit. Now let's just say if I did try to make a play with you or whatever, or I didn't tell you nothing. That was between me and you. Yes. It ain't between you two. Because at the end of the day, I didn't have to help you at all, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm I didn't have to, to do nothing up. for you. If that was the case, I'm trying to step you up, man. Okay. Basically. But once you do that and then you put, you like, put extra shit with it. Only thing you had to say, I didn't know that things was going to end up the way it happened. I didn't tell you to come up there and, and 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 do what you do with mikey b salute to them you know what i'm saying i told you nigga, listen whoever that's hot mikey b got a little name do your thing nigga. don't try to make it seem like oh yeah i was on the phone nigga, you wasn't on the phone for shit and you thought mikey b and them nigga, that's a lie that's who said some shit. yeah yeah that's a fucking lie and i'm <laughs> i'm at the point where if it was the truth i would have said yeah it's the truth so fucking what 
And um, it ain't like my number's going to die. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like I'm, I still ain't going to be trying to brand. Like I said, it's, it's you know, it's, it's content. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's accessible for the people to view. And, you know, like I said, I asked the question because of part of what I, what well, I, I like viewed, that. it was like, I like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What's that? The hokey dope? You know but, what I mean? Because but, but that's the he's that's when you help a nigga when you help a nigga and they use that you help a nigga and that's thing you know they try to like when they feel they did something wrong and you trying to make I hate when people try to make you me feel like I control their mouth and they they brain or with I can't control you that's just like me blaming you for me saying something slick to somebody else I ain't gonna blame do. you I'm a grown ass man that's what that's they why do get, that's why I don't get it get it on YouTube oh yeah China had me all the fuck you mean you had I had you argue nigga you had you was on your platform yeah, he was on your right platform to, when he said that yeah you had the right to turn your YouTube off say what China I'm not doing this and and leave Mm -hmm. No, what you did, you entertain it, and then you realize, oh shit, this shit got serious. See, see, when dudes argue with other dudes, when when newcomers come in this game, they think it's it just it ain't sweet. <laughs> yeah, I can just jump in and grab a bag. Yep. Basically, until they run across a official nigga who's good at this YouTube shit. Now they mad at anybody else. What? Because you don't know how to talk slick. Like, come on. Niggas is crazy. Then they talk about, oh yeah, save the kids. And I'm I'm trying, I'm I'm trying to help the community get better and all this. And then look at them. Salute the Manny Brent, but look at look what he's doing now. He's arguing with with um Mel Cross. What happened to save the kids and all that? Or you didn't come to YouTube for that. So who's the fuck is the contradicting? I'm contradict or you contradicting. If you try not to argue uh, on YouTube, you could look past that. You listen. I said, leave it alone. Yeah. Basically, every argument don't need a a, a fucking answer. Every argument don't need a, a rebuke for it. Yeah. People come at China all day. I pick and choose who to argue with. That's the case. I'll be arguing all fucking day. All Everybody day. Yeah. ain't worth. Everybody ain't worth my argument. Like so, these niggas is crazy on YouTube. I, I ain't gonna, you know, um, you know, we got a lot more to talk about. I ain't gonna hold you up, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tap back in with you. We set something else up. And, yeah, um, let I, me know, let me know, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we'll get the backstory, we we'll sit back, and you know, tomorrow something. This right here is great content. Upload it, do your thing. I'm gonna share it on my on my show. You know what I'm saying? I do what you gotta that. do. I appreciate it. Once, once I, I you know, edit everything and do what I gotta do, I'm gonna send you the link so you, you know, whatever you want to do. You know, what I mean, greatly appreciate it. You know, what I mean, yeah, you got my number. Just stay in contact. I got you. I got you. And um, like I said, I, I'm, I I'm tapped in. People and I got a couple of people. You know, what I'm saying, if you feel you want some other interviews with the dark side, man. You know, what I'm saying, you always welcome on that side. And I got some brothers over there. Some great interviews. You know what I'm saying? You can even pull up on the podcast if you feel, man. Get the get your numbers up, man. I work with the people, man. Okay, okay. Listen, um, like I said, all is well. Um, everybody's welcome. You know what I mean? This is what we do. We sit back, you know what I mean, have good conversations, roll up on my weed kind of sewers, and you know, um, give grace. You know what I mean? So salute you again, man. Appreciate you for tuning in with us. I and, appreciate um, being on the you know, show. I'll tap, tap in with you. Salute, man. You enjoy your day. Sour. I appreciate you, brother. Peace. Peace. Y'all already know what it is, man. Another edition of Sour Hour Podcast, man. Brought to you by Killer Sounds, IG Mixtape Series. There you have it. You know what I mean? Dark Side, 050, General, China Brim. You know what I mean? Great interview. You know what I mean? Sat down. Talked about a lot, you know what I mean? Touched a lot of areas, man. Shout out to him. Whole Crown Heights, you know what I mean? Whole Brooklyn, you know what to do. You know what I mean? Until next time, man. Y'all already know what it is. Peace.